Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda. You're not gonna see my face the whole time, I promise. Holy out of focus, Batman. Today's video is going to be, as you can see from the title, a room tour because I'm gonna be moving soon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check my most recent video. I'll link it up in a card, but I'm moving in 70 something days. No, my mom's not counting at all. And so I thought that I would do a room tour for you guys before I move. My room will probably descend into chaos pretty soon. So I figured now is as good of a time as ever. This is totally like unedited. I didn't clean up or anything special for this. So what you see is what you get. This is like how I live right now. So without further ado, um, <laughs> let's get into the room tour. I'm doing this vlog style because it's fun. Um, so yeah, this is my door. <laughs> Above this handle, I have her handle, the light switch. <laughs> um, this is two pieces of photos cut out of pamphlets, I think, that a pen pal of mine, Erica, sent me. I just be confused with my sister who's also named Erica. And they're pretty and they're blue. They match nothing in my room, but I love them, so I left them there. You look this way, you see a mirror. Hello. If I ever posted mirror selfies, which I don't because I hate any image of myself ever, she says, making YouTube videos. Good job, Amanda, hypocrite. Um, this is my only mirror in my room that is full length or any length that isn't my face size. Um, yeah, here I am. Hi. So there's this board above, but I can't really show you it because some things have my last name on it and I'm trying to keep my last name out of it. So if you saw my last name on anything, please don't like comment it because I'm trying to keep my last name private, but for various reasons pertaining to my professional life. I have this cool mail thing. I got this from Marshall's actually, um, which is like a, like, <sighs> surplus st sale store. I don't even know what it is, but I got it from Marshall's. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. I don't know. I keep random things in here, like random receipts I can probably throw away, tiny notebooks, my passport, this little thing from a candy corn Pez dispenser, a letter to reply to, just random papers. I, I don't know. Uh, next to that, or in front of that, I guess, I have my little ring holder. Um, this was from... I don't even know where. I think this was probably from Marshall's too, actually. But it's a little cactus. I put my rings on it. I wear two rings every day. This one and this one. So those go on this one right here. And then in here I just have random doodads. A bracelet that Erica sent me. A random SD card. 32 gigs! Nice! Didn't even know I still had that one. Um, Just, you know, random. There used to be bobby pins in here too, but I don't really use them now because um, I have short hair. But I also have a plant. I don't know what kind of plant this is, I'm sorry. The tag at Lowe's just called it a leafy green plant, which is very descriptive and also not helpful. His name is Jordan. I named him Jordan because we have a plant downstairs that is named Monty, so we named this one Jordan after Monty Green's son on the 100. Yes. And um, this is a hand-bound book with a leather cover that my friend Liz, she is the dear friend that I talk about a lot, and I f finally, well, she actually volunteered permission to for me to name her in my videos because I keep forgetting to ask her because I'm a dork, but Liz get, bought me this book at a Renaissance Fair, uh, and it was like the best gift ever, and I love it so much. I haven't actually um, written in it because I'm too afraid to like soil it and like make it look not good because she spent so much money on it, but yeah, it's hand bound, and the pages are beautiful, and they're thick, and they're so soft. And I love everything about this book, and it's amazing, and it will always make me think of Liz, and I am going to cry when I move away, because I will not get to see Liz in person. Anyway, moving on. That's, I just keep it there, and I think of Liz, and I smile. This is a music box that my mom gave me when I graduated from high school two years ago, and some change. Hoi! Um, it plays, um, What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. That song makes me cry, for weird reasons. In here... I have random stuff. Um, I have some headphones and like, I don't even know what else. It's just random stuff. Um, yeah, I just hide it in here. Oh, it won't close now. Oh, come on, man. I'm kind of a mess. It's fine. I, I have my life together where it counts, but in the little ways I don't. This is a frame that I got in New York City from an Urban Outfitters there. This was actually purchased the same day that I met Liz for the first time, which is the same day this picture was taken. That's Liz and me. My mom and I, when I was finished with the summer program, and then this random hole is for a picture of my sister and I, but we never seem to take selfies together. We just take pictures of each other. I mostly just take pictures of her, but whatever. Um, once I fill that in there, then I was going to get it hung up, but now I think I'm just going to wait until I move into my apartment in 
January. I'll go through my dresser drawers because we're getting in deep here, kids. This is the top drawer. That's, I didn't realize that my plaids were on top. I swear I don't, I'm not like particularly obsessed with plaid, but you know, okay. So anyway, this side is shorts. And then I have two headbands. I rarely ever wear these because like my hair usually looks good, but if I have a bad hair day and I need to wear a headband, I have options. Then on this side, I have all of my like soft pants or like fancy pants that aren't trousers or like work, like business pants, you know, like they're not trousers or, or, or like suit pants. The store I'm not going into, it's underwear and socks. Let's not do that. Let's go down here. Um, this is the drawer that I love more than anything else. This is all of my lounge clothes. Um, I have a random t-shirt here and the rest of these are shorts. These are like long sleeved workout shirts that my sister gave me that I hardly ever wear because they show my cleavage. These two piles are piles of short sleeve t-shirts. 90% of the time if I'm not in my pajamas, I will be wearing these. And then over here are leggings. These are not folded. Sorry, I'm a mess. This pile is Capri leggings. That pile back there that is currently one that I haven't even taken the tags off yet. That is, um, like, long leggings. Fun fact, I'm so short that 7 8 length leggings fit me. And like they are regular long leggings. Yep, okay. These next two drawers I don't really go into as often. So the clothes in here are obviously less important to me. Down here, I have a crap ton of camisoles in skin tone and black. I used to have to wear camisoles with shirts all the time, but then I got scents and stopped doing that, so, but I still have them, and there's no good reason to get rid of them, so I just keep them. I have my shapewear shorts. Um, no, wait, these are my shapewear, like, underwear just for my stomach. I have another pair somewhere that's, like, for shaping my thighs, too, but I also got these because it was a two-for-one package. I have my strapless bra and my very, very limited swimsuit collection because... I hate myself in swimsuits, so I have this bikini top and matching bottoms. I wear a t-shirt over every swimsuit ever, so there's no need to worry about being risque because no one ever sees it. I wear a t-shirt over all my swimsuits, and then I also have this tankini top and plain black bottoms as a backup. This is the shirt that I wear. It's surprisingly thick and not at all see-through, even though it is white, and I wear this over every single time I wear a swimsuit. This pile, I don't know, I didn't fold these either. Wow. These two are just lounge pants that aren't leggings. These are, I have a pair of like boot cut yoga pants and then a pair of those joggers that like cinch in at the ankles. So I just keep those in case I need them. Then this bottom drawer, this bottom drawer is broken. So it doesn't close all the way unless you slam it. My sister had this dresser before me so she must have busted it up. But all of these are sweaters to be worn with dress pants. So I have all of these sweaters I love sweaters, you can tell, obviously, and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I can't wear them anymore because Mississippi's gonna be warm, but yeah, there's that. Next to that, over here is my printer, which is a recent purchase because my parents were tired of me using theirs, so I got my own. It is the HP OfficeJet 4650, and then I have it on this cart, also from Amazon, I'll link that down below too, and I keep some extra paper down there. And then on top of that is my BB-8 stuffed toy. He's also facing the corner. Why are you in timeout, BB-8? Come on, turn around. So there's BB-8. Um, I just keep him there. This book I need to sell back. Um, it's an old textbook. And then I have this clipboard thing that I don't really know what to do with. So it's just back there in that corner. And then we get to my desk. This desk is from Ikea. It is honestly my dream desk. It is huge. It is magnificent. I love it more than life itself. I spend an insane amount of time at my desk, so I'm very excited. Hold on to your hats, kids. This is going to take a while. Here we go. So, like I said, this is unedited, so this is just how my desk looks 99% of the time. Over here I have a pile of things. This envelope is a thing from work that I have to bring back to work. This is my calligraphy practice book. This is a random notebook from Muji that has all of my uh, investigative reporters and editors conference notes in it, and these two reporters notebooks have to go back in my backpack, they're for an assignment I was working on. This is the box to the foundation that I just purchased because I don't know if it'll work for me or not, but I needed a different color, so I'm saving it in case I return it. Over here I have the setup for my future Inktober drawings. I have three to do to catch up, so I have my little square for Inktober and some water and a pad and then my watercolors. So yeah, my laptop. This is the MacBook Pro late 2014 Retina display model. Uh, I have my phone charging here. I have the iPhone 6S Plus if anyone cares. And I did recently just buy AirPods. I am that person now. And then my Apple Watch charger is right there. I have my charger for my camera batteries. My makeup. 
let's go through the makeup. Why not? It'll be fun. Um, I have these three palettes, or these four palettes. They're all by Tarte because I have no chill. This is a color correcting palette from Tarte. This is their Clay Play Volume 2 palette, their Pro Contour palette, and their... Oh, what the heck is this called? Tarte Lid and Bloom palette. Yay. All my makeup brushes don't have that many. Don't really need them. On top, we have... This is going to be so long. I'm so sorry, guys. New game. Take a shot every time I apologize for how long this video is going to be. Actually, don't. You die of alcohol poisoning. Anyway, um, up on the top of here, I have my deodorant, my setting spray. It's the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. Love it. Just so you guys know, I am not made of money, but I do spend money on products that I know are worth it. Like foundation, I'll shell out money for. Setting spray, I'll shell out money for. And... Eye makeup I'll shell out money for because I know it's worth it. Anything else I go cheap, but all the other things I will fork out money for it, so just putting that out there. Um, I have a Real Techniques sponge that I use sometimes when I want to do cream contour, and I have it in this little stand just so it doesn't stay in the top of this. This cup I got on clearance from Target, evidently because I forgot to take the tag off. Wow, Amanda! Okay, and up here I keep my scissors, my eyelash curlers, my jade roller, and... My spoolie brush should not even be here. It should be down here. What the heck? Okay, uh, clearly my life is together. Anyway, and then I also keep a pen up here. These are just things that I'm going to reach for without wanting to, like, open drawers, so I just keep them up there. My chair has a blanket on it because it, like, stuck to my bare legs when I wore shorts in the summer, so I put a chair on it, and then this hoodie is was a gift from Observer when I left after my internship. The actual chair is one of those swiveling desk chairs that you can raise or lower. It's from Walmart and it was really cheap, really good quality. I will try to find a link to it if I can because I highly recommend it feels and looks way more expensive than it was. Let's look in my actual desk because I love this desk more than life itself. It's incredible. This desk is actually a unit from Ikea. I will link it below. It's two separate things with two separate prices, but you get the desk with this for one, and then this filing cabinet is an additional thing, but they're meant to be together. So we will go through all of this. Organizing unit is from Ikea. You had to cut it down yourself, which is so stressful, but hey. Um, and in here I keep things I reach for on the daily. I have my other brown, excuse me, brown paper pad. My Canon IV refills my tiny ruler that my sister gave me because art student. A random reporter's notebook way back there. I have a glue stick and a bookmark that I never use because I memorize the page numbers. I do not dog ear the pages. No, 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 honey, we don't do that here. I have post-it notes that I really don't use, but my mom uses, so she knows where to find them. Two things of double-sided tape because I didn't know where else to put them. And then these are all pens that I use on the daily, as well as my two watercolor brushes. I know it's not the best place for them, but I don't know where else to put them, okay? And then my Microns that I use for my bullet journal, my Muji gel pens that I adore, and then a mechanical pencil. This is a bit of a mess. Be prepared. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So it used to be organized and then it descended into chaos. Story of my life. Um, this top shelf has everything for my camera, my filming, whatever. That little thing is my lavalier mic. I have a box for my mount mic that I use to record voiceovers and then I have another one for the mic that mounts on top of my camera that I use when I'm facing and talking to you guys like this way. It, the brand name is a Rode mic, but it's not Rode. They're all cheap from Amazon, but they work really well. I can link them below if you want me to. This is a battery-operated candle that I use sometimes for the aesthetic TM, and then this is some cough drops I just put there for no reason. Uh, down here I have some stationery. I have um, my thank you cards, another card organizer, and then like legal envelopes. And this bottom shelf is extras, like extras, like that's an extra of my like morning moisturizer. I have an extra pressed powder under there. And then also like trial sizes of things that I get as like gifts with purchase. I'm not going to go through them because it would take too much time, but it's all under there, trust me. And then these are also extra brushes that I really need to wash, but I hardly ever use, so they're there. Uh, yeah. And then also while we're on the floor, two trash cans. This is for garbage. This big one is for recycling because we are eco-friendly in this house. My power strip has all the stuff I need. I have this plug splitter. This one goes for my makeup mirror and the other one is for my battery charger. And then this three USB thing is from Ikea and that holds the chargers for my phone, Apple AirPods, and Apple Watch. So clearly I needed an organizer to contain my mess. We're going to start over here. This is mostly the reason why I want to declutter my pens. I have colored pens that bleed into black and white pens over here. Um, I need to, I used to color code my planner, but I don't anymore, so I need to like go through and declutter these. I also have a set of washi tapes that I got from Ikea, believe it or not, and they're really cute and I love them. 
Over on this side I have some random stickers, stamps, um, a note from Erica when she sent me a, a pen pal letter, and then band-aids that are Star Wars themed that I think I got in a Christmas stocking and I love them. And I use them because I'm disaster prone and I pick at hangnails. So I have paper clips and binder clips in this one. My makeup mat that I use to apply my makeup, I like lay it down. It just sits in here when I'm not using it, when I'm trying to get things I just move it out the way. Um, this is a little bit chaotic, it's like extra cords and stuff. Um, and then extra flash drives and a hair clip I don't even need because I have short hair. What the heck? Um, I have an extra pair of wireless headphones that don't really work, but I keep them anyway. Um, this is my voice recorder that I use for journalism. Some ointment. My extra bike lock key and some random bobby pins. This drawer has whiteout and then this like whiteout tape. I have extra staples, extra pencil lead, another bookmark, a pearl eraser. More extra lead, a couple like cute little see-through clothespins that are actually for my fairy lights, which are also not up because my room is too small, but now I have things for my future apartment. More staples, another bookmark. Yeah. Back here, these are all of my, not this, these are all of my Tombow brush pens, mild liner highlighters, Staedtler Plus fine liners, and other assorted highlighters. They're all here. Yep. Over on this side I have Gorilla Glue. I don't know why these are in here. This is whitening strips and acne dots. Who knows? My coaster, whenever I have a drink of some kind up here, I use this co coaster that my mom got in a bulletproof order. I've got some flags, a stamp pad, uh, my Gorilla Glue and stuff. My checkbook, because we are real adults here. A bunch of contact cards from people that I've met over my college career. This thing is cool. This is like an ID holder that I will use for a press pass very soon. And then some more stickers. So that's all. This is going to be such a pain to pack up when I move. Lord have mercy. Because my dad has to take apart this whole desk. So uh, this is going to suck. Just thought of that. Anyway. And then last but not least over here. Mechanical pencils. That's all this is. Clearly I need to downsize. And then two more pearl erasers. This top drawer. This is like, this whole place is chaos. I'm just warning you now. So this top drawer has, this is my receipt pile of things I bought to move out. I'm keeping them here so that I can like easily return things if I need to. Um, I have a sticky dot roller, scrapbooking adhesive squares, random little things for the little thank you notes that come when you buy things from my Etsy shop. Tape dispenser that's out, I need to refill that. Uh, more paper for my Polaroid. I have a pack of fine liners, or Muji, no. Mild liners, there we go Amanda, you dits, and then two packs of colored pencils and a stapler. Let's put those back. Okay, then this drawer is also chaos. A bunch of paper bits for my books. Um, this is a pencil case I don't use anymore. My stamps are back there, and then underneath it all is my stamp cleaning pad. This drawer has watercolor stuff. These are the squares I cut out for my October drawings. These are random long squares. Don't know what these are for, and this is my pack of Crayola Super Tips. And then this last drawer I'm not going to open because there's sensitive stuff in there, but this is a filing cabinet that I keep like my records and things in. Then next to that I have my backpack. This backpack is only here two days out of the week. It's here whenever I am home and doing homework. I just put it in this corner because I don't want to trip over it. Otherwise, Monday through Friday when I come home, I dump it right here and then pick it up and go out the door the next day. And then last but not least, my baby, my pride and joy. This is a Smith Corona Silent Super Typewriter. My grandfather bought it when it was first released. It was the laptop of its day. It's in 1960s era. It was restored by a place called Philly Typewriter here. I, my grandfather gave it to me and I got it restored for $300. Works perfectly. I type up my poems on it. I love it, mostly for sentimental value because when I was a really little kid, I would sit at this and I would pretend to type out news reports and I would type out little stories and now I actually am a journalist. And I do write real news reports and I write real stories. So this is kind of like a reminder to me of like, as cheesy as it sounds like, where I was and like who I am now and like the same little kid that typed on these keys is the same big kid that's using it now and I don't know it's really cool. This is a fan. I have to sleep with white noise so I have this. This is my ring light. This is the newer ring light 18 inch. Um, down here I have two photography textbooks that I barely ever read and this external microphone or no this external speaker. Wow I do too much audio work that I need to put downstairs with my moving stuff because my mom wants me to have it when I move out. This is the stand for my ring light. These are all books that I don't have space for. I really want a bookshelf in my new apartment because I need a place to put all my books. And then this black thing here that they're sitting on is a file box. It has blank journals in it. The whole thing is just blank journals. I have a problem. And then right next to that 
is my laptop case, like soft case for traveling, which I don't really use. Under this table, I'm not going to move my stuff because you don't need to see that, but under this table is my, are my fairy lights and my letter board, both of which I don't have room for in this room, but will at some point. This is my camera case. This nightstand has a desk lamp, my 2016 graduation photos with my sister. We didn't get individual ones taken because we both graduated at the same time. My timer. Some of my favorite books are here. The Six of Crows books, the New York Times style book, and then these two both have special sentimental meaning. I swear I'm not a child, although it's okay if you still have stuffed animals and you're an adult. Don't ever grow up, kids. Um, this is a poem that I wrote affixed onto a photograph of someone else. I don't know who she... I, I remember her name, but I can't find her online anywhere, but... Um, yeah, she was so wonderful. She sent those to me, like the prints and stuff, and I died. It was so sweet. These are two quotes I just randomly wrote and then put them near my bed on a whim, and they've been there ever since. These two shelves are from Ikea. They are floating shelves. They can hold up to 50 pounds. Not really sure uh, how many pounds to that limit I am, but <laughs> hopefully not too close. Um, these are more books that I have that I like. Uh, Cassandra Clare books. Some poetry, more poetry. Richard Sykin! is right there. Crush. Anyway, uh, more books. Uh, and then I have a photo album. These two, uh, like, these two paperweights are from the world market, I think. This is my Polaroid, um, like, my Polaroid holder thing, like, my Polar Polaroid album, I guess. The Polaroid itself. The case is from Amazon. Um, this little owl my sister gave to me because my school's mascot is an owl. Um, this was colored for me and given to me by a kid that I teach and that was the last time that she was ever attending my church. I forgot to show you this cork square. This is all of the photo strips my sister and I have ever done. I just have them up there because we've done a lot of them and they're really cool and my sister is my best friend. I also have this I Heart the Internet pin that I got for Christmas to support net neutrality. It's right there. This is from an Aeropostal ad, but I kept it anyway. And then this is a, a thing from a like ripoff calendar that someone gave me last year. It says, life is like photography, you develop from the negatives. Cheesy, but it works. Okay, my actual bed is from, here's a shock, Ikea. This is a duvet cover, and that sham came with it. Um, the actual comforter in the duvet I've had for a long time, and it was from Walmart. I just got a duvet cover to make it, like, look more grown up. Clearly, I sit on my bed a lot because it's, like, super duper wrinkled. Um, but this pillow is from Primark. It was a gift. Same with that one. Also a gift from my sister, interior design major that she is. These two black pillows are also from, they were from my mom, and the pillowcases were from my mom as well. This pink little cat I got for Halloween. We named her Lexa, and um, she was from Target, and she was $3. This bed from Ikea, I'll link it down below. It's a twin-size bed. I've only ever slept in twin-size beds, um, just cuz. And it also pulls out to a trundle. I don't know how, but I know that it does pull out to a trundle bed. You could get another mattress for it, which I will be getting when I move, so that then my sister and I could sleep on this, my parents could sleep on my couch when they come visit me. They also has two drawers that are actually surprisingly deep. I'm gonna pull this one out all the way if I can. Yeah, so it's a pretty big drawer. There you go. You deserve an award if you've sat through this whole video. So over here, this section, this clothing rack used to be just a place for me to display things in an aesthetic way. And if you can see, I kind of got there and then we get to the chaos zone. These things are just hung up here because I don't know why. These two need to be ironed desperately. This needs to get the tags cut off. This is so cute. I love it very much. Anyway, the clothing rack is from Ikea. I keep my sweatshirt and my rain jacket hung up there as long with my day-to-day -day purse. Down here, I keep all of these boots because I don't have anywhere to put them. You'll see the situation in a minute. You'll know I'm serious. These two containers hold everything for my paper crafting, and then I have envelopes for mailing my books out on top because I didn't know where else to put them. My tennis shoes are there because I am working out after this, in theory. Final thing is this closet and the door sticks, but I open it up. If I went through everything, we'd be here all day. But here's my closet. I fold up jeans and shorts here, t-shirts here, sweaters here and then like casual sweaters down there. These two drawers have scarves in them as well as like small wallets and like small purses. I don't own that many purses but they're in here. Um, this whole organizer is from, surprise, Ikea. Back here I have a shoe holder from Target which has all of like my sandals, flip-flops, and then dressy heels. And then this thing is the shoe situation and they go all the way back to the back. Um, this is like a 12 pair holder I think um, and I just keep any shoes I need here. And then I have loafers and slides. Three pairs that I keep on the floor because I don't know where else to put them. This plastic drawer thing is from Target and I keep travel stuff in the middle and in the bottom and then these are tote bags because I'm a middle-aged white mother who goes to Whole Foods and shops with her hair in a Nike baseball cap talking on the phone to her vegan friends. 
It's very specific aesthetic, but the bottom line is I have a lot of tote bags because when I lived in Texas, um, they used to have a bag ban for plastic bags, so you couldn't bring a plastic bag to the store like you had to, and you couldn't take one home, like, you had to bring your own reusable tote bags, you'd get a fee, so I just bought a lot of tote bags. Here are my clothes. There is a system to this. These are nice shirts to be worn with leggings. Yes, they exist in my world. Long sundresses, short sleeve white shirts, short sleeve dressy shirts, a random tank top, crop tops, business short sleeve shirt, I have one. Collared shirts go to here. Casual long sleeve shirt, of which I have one. Business long sleeve shirts. And then you get back to tunics, to rompers, to another long sundress, to business dresses in length of sleeves. That's how they're organized. Up at the top I have extra hangers, two scrapbooks, the case for my uh, typewriter. This is my gym bag with my gym makeup bag on top. Slide it to the other side, you get these two containers. This has all of my tech boxes. This has the three purses that I own that I don't use. And that's it. Oh, and then like cold weather wear, like gloves and hats and stuff. Over here, um, the resurgence of the dresses, and then I have some of the, the only skirts I own are right here. Blazers, and then jackets, jean jackets, I have an absurd amount. And then this garment bag has my suits, and this bag has the one floor length dress that I possess. And then down here is my dirty clothes hamper. And that brings us back to the door. All right guys, that is it for the room tour. You guys deserve an award for sitting through this whole thing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Be sure to leave me a comment about really anything. Just talk to me. I don't like hearing my own voice, so let's have a conversation so it's not just me talking to the void. I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. I will see you in my next video. Bye!